So n here, we'll say, is going to be, well, let's see. You guys know where you find your, uh, your chi-square table? It's next to your what? Yeah, exam exactly. So let's write this down. And we're going to look at maybe as 11, 19, 23, OK? And so, just like before, the degree of freedom is n minus 1. It's 1 minus the sample size. So what's 11 minus 1? 10, good. What's 19 minus 1? Good. 23 minus 1. Anybody have any questions on finding the degree of freedom? OK. So we're going to now look for the chi-square left and chi-square right values. Okay, so let's look at our table. We got the degree of freedom, and then what do you guys see up here? What does it say? It says area to the what? Bless you. To the right of the critical value. Okay, so here's 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 what here's what we're gonna do. Do you guys remember anytime you found a critical value, anytime we found that critical value, what information did you guys need? For every situation you always needed one critical piece of information. What did you guys need? The level of what? Significance. Is that true? So here, you're going to need an alpha value, a level of significance. And for the first example, let's just say alpha is 10%. OK? So for that first example, alpha 10%, let's see what this means. What was the definition of alpha anyway? Do you guys remember? What is it? Yeah, alpha was the level of significance, but what was it? Total of the two tails. That's what alpha is all day long. The definition of alpha is level of significance. So if alpha is 10%, what does that mean? Yeah, it means what? This is what? 5%. And what is this? 5%. And more importantly, what is this? Why is it 90%? Because the total is what? 100. 5 and 5 is 10, plus 90 is what? 100. Is that true? OK? So this is important. OK? The reason this is important is because, again, I'm going to try to find a right chi-square value, and I'm going to try to find a what? Left chi-square value. So here's what's happening. You're going to say, well, how do we read this table? Well, first of all, for the row, we're going to look for row 10. We're looking for row 10. The degree of freedom. And you see this? We need a left critical value and a right critical value. So here's how you read the table. You see this first critical value, the right chi-square value? What does it say up here? Area to the right of the what? Critical value. So here's my critical value. What percent of the bell is shaded to the right? 5%. 
Do you guys see a 5% column? Do you see it? Where is it at? You guys see a 5% column? Yeah, it's sort of in the, a little bit to the right, sort of in the middle, like this. 0 0.05, isn't that 5%? So what value do you see there? 18 point what? 18.301. Seven, good. What that means is your right critical value is 18.307. And how do you find the left one? Here's what you do. For the left one, can you tell me what areas to the right of that left critical value? 90 and 5 is what? 95. Where's the 95 column? Right? Where's the 95 column at? Yeah. Yeah. Not 0.95? Point nine five. So what do you see in the point nine five column row ten? Three point nine four zero. This is the left critical value. So in some sense, these two tables, the last one, the t table and the chi square table, they're a lot easier to use to find critical values in the z table. Z table makes you work backwards and approximate. These are really well defined for us here. Meaning the row is going to be the degree of freedom. That's n minus 1. The columns are what they want. The columns are what it says it is. In the t table, the total of the tail is a column. For the chi-square value, it's the area to the right of the critical value that you're looking at. So the area to the right, 5%. Area to the right, 95%. The sum of the two. And that's how you use this table. OK? So we're just looking at finding um, these, these critical values here. OK, so left, 3.94. Yeah. You see this? See this left critical value? What area is to the right of this value? All of this area and all of what? That area. Is that true? You're looking at the value. This is your what? Right. So how, what percent of the bell is shaded to the right here in this picture? Or what percent, of the, how many, what percent is the area to the right, which is the 90, but that's not it. Plus the what? 5, which gives you 95. Now, what's the numerical representation? Point what? Point 0.95. You don't care about the area to the left. See this? How you read this table is only answering area to the what? To the right. So don't think, OK, but the left. So really, you're finding, here's what's going on. You need to know what alpha is. Alpha defines this non-shaded region. Alpha being 10%, 5 and 5, that means this is 90. Area to the right of this value is 5%. Area to the right of this value, these two regions are to the right of the value. 90 plus 5 is? 90 what? 95 percent. That's how you find your column values. Okay. So go to the next one. If n is 19, what's your degree of freedom? It's 18. Is that true? Degree of freedom is 18. Let's 
the left chi-square value and the what? The right chi-square value. Well, in this setting, can you tell me, we're going to say alpha here is going to be 5%. Okay? This is an exercise. This is an example. Yes, you always are given what? This is always, well, we say be, they could give you the confidence level, which is 1 minus alpha, but the answer is yes. They won't say, here's your alpha, and write it in bold. They may call it level of what? Significance? Or they'll give you the confidence level. But alpha will, but that will be there. It has to be there. You can't do it without it. Yeah. So for the alpha being 5% now, what does the picture look like now? Yeah, let's write it here. What does the picture look like now? This. This, what is this? 2.5%. How do we know that that's 2.5? Exactly. If alpha, remember, alpha is the sum of the tails. Alpha is 5%. So half of alpha, yes, is divided by 2. 0 0.025. But what is here? What is not shaded? If the total in the tails is 5%, what is it? This is what? 95%. Okay. So go back and think about it that way, this way. If I'm going to find this right chi-square value on my right, I'm going to find the left chi-square value on my left. Right, left. Right, left. Is that right? Right. Here's the value. What's the area to the right? It's 2.5% or? 0 0.025. Where is 0 0.025 at? Is it right here? 0 0.0 around here, right? 2.5? Okay. What number do you guys see there? 31.526. Okay, go to the next one. The 95 and the 2.5. 95 and 2.5, what's that? How much area is to the right of that value? 95%. But is that it? So that's 97.5? Right? 97.5%. What is that as a decimal? 0.975. So the 18th row, 0.975 column, what do you guys see there? 8.231. So in this picture, if you wanted, you can say, ah, I guess that the left value is 8.231. The right value is what? 31 point what? 526. Okay? These are the values. Whew. Okay, now we'll do the last one. I'll give you alpha being 1% for the last one. And, and here's, a, here's a funny thing. I mean, again, 